All right guys, back into my favorite room in the entire building, our new fish retailing area. But today is a big day. Today is a day that uh, I actually strongly disagreed with. Only one person in the entire company can overrule me on my- <laughs> That man. Yeah! <laughs> Greg, tell them what we're getting set up to do here. I just got done telling them I strongly disagreed with this decision. <laughs> That's the face some of us have grown to love. The goal was originally to put a pond in here that we could swim in. That kind of morphed because of budget reasons and everything else to an upper pool here, and then Greg's Turtletopia down there for all my turtles. Brian and Chris's Turtletopia. <laughs> That's actually and more accurate. <laughs> my turtles, your design. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna drain this water down. We're gonna fill up all of these tubs today, which is super exciting. Why are we draining? Because Ed, the pond professor, thinks he can put a window in here, and, and I'm glad it's him and not me, and, or you, <laughs> yeah. that's doing this. It's gonna be a lot of detail, but he said he's pretty confident, so we're taking every one of these fish out of here. I'm taking pictures, because each one of these fish is for sale, and we're gonna put the pictures up up there, I think, and then we're gonna put a window in here, and then tomorrow, fill it back up with the water and put the fish back in. So you guys heard it from the man himself. There's a window going in right there. In fact, here's the window. Pond professor is coming over here to uh, show us how to do it. When Greg asked if I uh, could do this, I said no, because I've never done one before. I have no idea how we construct this thing to keep it from leaking. I don't want to be liable if it leaks because there's an awful lot of money sitting in that tank right there. So. Ed, the pond professor, is gonna take us all to school today and show us how to do that. But like Greg said, we're getting all these tanks set up. So we've got 500, 1,000, 2,000. We've got a few more of those coming, and we have a bunch of these coming. So we should be able to save every drop of water in here. And the reason we're doing that is this water has already been conditioned and set up for these fish. So as we take them out, I don't want them to go into any type of stress at all. I want them to feel like uh, they've never left their home. So we're gonna take all that water, save it, put it in these, obviously aerate it, cover them so they don't jump out. And then we'll be able to take all that water, put it back into their original home and uh, get a view from down here and what that looks like. All right, it begins. Trust us. Okay, Brian, put the pump in. All right, Noah, hit the pump. Let's get this thing filled in. So we have, what are these, 500 gallons? Yeah, yep. yeah I've already taken our viewers through that whole thing. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we probably have about 3,000 gallons of water we're gonna store. And it's a 5,000 gallon tank, right? Yeah, I don't know exactly. I don't think we ever really measured, so this is a great way for us to <laughs> Every one of you guys is gonna get a picture, and right in here, we're putting in the window. Ready for the professor. All right, there's a gorgeous one. First one too. Woo. We should actually put that one in a bag and take it to my house. <laughs> Flavio's getting the pictures. This is a beautiful shallow with gin rim, I think. <laughs> Very good, Greg. Yeah, well. That trip to Japan uh, actually was educational for you. Yeah. All right, one down. How many did you buy? 30? Uh, more than that. So we're obviously draining this so Ed can come in here and educate us on how to put a uh, clear window into here. And at the same time, we figured we'd document all of our fish, get pictures of them, sizes, and then like Greg said, we'll take photos and then post those up on here with uh, the cost of each one. And then hopefully sell them all. Or not. It'd be kind of nice not to sell them because I've I've become attached and I know that man has become very <laughs> attached. Oh, I got a few of them. <laughs> that was fun. So we got every fish moved. We got some in here some in there and then some in our fish retailing area. Did it go faster or slower than you thought it was? It went way, way smoother than I thought. It helps when I have a plan. Ah, when you have a plan. Flavio, thanks for coming in and taking pictures of all the fish. Glad to be here. It's never boring at Aquascape, is it? Never boring, never a dull moment. <laughs> all right, a little What's bit of water. Next, Drain the water and then let Ed come in here and do his window thing. Ed. Yes. The last time 
Um, I filmed everybody. Greg was in here catching a bunch of fish. Yes. What I was most excited about was not so much that part and this part, but the part I have no concept on how to do. So just give us the cliff note version because that's how I got through school. <laughs> so what we're doing, so I removed a lot of the, the bracing that you already yep. have inside of here. What I want to do now is I have to stiffen all this up. So now because we've removed all of this stuff, this is going to be a really, really weak wall. I'm going to come in with a series of 2x12s and I'm going to lock this entire corner in on both sides. And then I'm also going to make like a box down here on the bottom to give it a little bit more structural support. Then I'm going to cut everything out. The glass will be mounted over here on this side. And then I have a piece of steel that's going to go down the side and that's going to put the glass under compression. So I have a series of bolts and everything and it will kind of just squeeze almost like a, it's like a skimmer faceplate. So we'll bolt everything together, we'll squeeze the glass up against the liner, and that's going to make the watertight seal. I literally had no concept on what he was talking about. As soon as he said it's just like making a skimmer box, it's really like a large skimmer box faceplate made out of steel. <laughs> and right? wood and liner. He had me at skimmer box. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Super B, Yo. moment of truth here, huh? <laughs> like, once you've cut that out, I guess it's not as a big, as big of a deal as once you've cut the liner. Yeah, I agree. But uh, it looks like everything's framed out, huh? Everything's totally framed out. These walls are solid now. I cut out a couple of two by fours. Now I'm gonna take out the plywood. I'm gonna double check everything, maybe position the glass in here, and then I'm gonna start ready to cut liner. <laughs> you think we're filling this thing by the end of the day? Or are you gonna wait till tomorrow? I think we should wait till tomorrow, honestly. Just in case, but I guess we'll This see. is this is me nodding my head. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to fill it today and I know the fish would love to get back in here as well. Yeah. But we'll you'll definitely have the glass in today. Oh for sure. Alright. Let's see you cut something. Should be right there. No <laughs> Come on, the suspense. I know, right? Look at all this editing Tony has to do. <laughs> oh my god, you're not set up for it. A weird angle for me. You should you should actually screw a two by four or something on that thing. That, you're just gonna eye it, huh? Guess it's marked there. Oh, okay. Yeah. See it. Oh, your glass is too tinted? <laughs> <laughs> That's the magic right there. Hmm? <laughs> go in there, pretend you're a fish. No, they don't stand. Get out there. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Is he swimming backwards? <laughs> Pretty awesome, but I'll have to tell you, I was up for three nights in a row, and every time I wake up in this cold sweat, race to work, come over here, and be like, "Thank God, it's still dry." So next day, again and again, and it's still dry. It's been running this way for about I don't know a week or so, and it's holding water great. I'll have to be the first to admit, when Greg asked if I could do this, a hundred percent, I said no. If there's somebody that can do it, it was Ed Ballou, the pond professor. In fact, if you want to see exactly how this was done, maybe the crowning jewel of the entire place, check out Ed Ballou, the pond professor's page down below, and he'll show you step by step on how we actually installed the glass see-through window with the steel, the wood, and everything else. Now that I've gone through it, would I feel comfortable doing it? No. but. <laughs> Yes, it's actually quite easy. It's it's really like hooking up a skimmer box or a skimmer faceplate to your liner. It was pretty simple. The hardest part of the whole thing was just all the prep work, making sure we had the right steel, the right thickness of the glass, all the pre-cut lumber, the drilled out this, the drilled out that. But once we had all the tools on site, it went pretty smooth. Actually a whole lot faster than transferring all the fish out of here into their temporary holding tanks and then transferring all the fish back in to see if it worked. But you can see it's working great. Favorite part is the view 
from the existing retail area and how it just draws you all the way in. LRO Woodworks has done a killer job with the reclaimed wood here. They're bringing in this really nice countertop that's gonna come all the way over the top of this which is gonna set this window off even more. Tell me your guys' favorite part. I don't know if it's the window, I don't know if it's the wood, the custom woodworking, I don't know if it's the new sign way in the back over there. Tell me your favorite parts, comment down below. If you haven't already liked the page, make sure you hit, you hit like, and we'll see you next time.